And hello on a very pleasant day for football here at the Etihad Stadium. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester City versus Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Thing about Phil Foden, he's a real crowd pleaser and of course so very effective. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him in this one? Well, Derek, I expect him to score again today because he's got four goals in the last three games. He's looked outstanding when he's been running in behind and I expect him to cause this defence all sorts of problems today. Potentially exciting 90 minutes here and Manchester City get the ball rolling. And so they start at 11 for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Bernardo Silva plays with Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the pitch. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Thumps clear. It comes to nothing in the end. Over the top in the direction of Gabriel Jesus. Oh, a disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. Well, goalkeeper mistake, will there be a price to pay? But I think we can call him one mighty relieved goalkeeper. Well, he can smile now, but that was a big blunder. And so they start at 11 for Arsenal. Bernd Leno is the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And the, well, it didn't worry the keeper. And a throw-in forthcoming. It was a successful day at the office for Manchester City in their last game as they won against Norwich City. How do you anticipate it going this time, Stuart? Well, in a very tight game, they certainly deserve their victory. Today will be tougher, though, and I'm expecting a really close contest between two well-drilled teams. I'm going for a draw as it's difficult to separate them. He's got space. And the cross is very much on. Well, still an issue here. Jesus. Well, a good tackle. Obama Yang. It's looking promising. It's not testing the keeper at all with that cross. It's Arsenal's turn now. Well, that's not textbook defending. Has a go. Emerson, wonderful goalkeeping. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Crossed accurately towards the far post. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was always going to be claimed. A move of promise on the flank. De Bruyne. And Kevin De Bruyne with the goal. And what a boost that will be for his side. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. And back underway, 1-0 it is. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. 
And the advantage is with City. Jesus. De Bruyne now. And by a way for thin margin, offside. Good refereeing, waiting for a natural pause before booking him. Great vision. Well, he just couldn't make it happen. He's done remarkably well to get himself forward here, Gabriel Jesus. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Well-timed tackle. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Well, from so far out, it didn't appear to be the high percentage option. Close, though, Stewart. Well, he did have options, but that was a good effort in the end. He wasn't too far away, was he? Keeper got there, and comfortably. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal had most of the possession, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. Not a complicated save for Ederson to make. Obama Yang. It's a perfect challenge. Now can they counter clinically? Defenders need to cover. Silva waiting in the middle. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident and not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Thomas and Obama Yang in control of the ball in that advanced position. Tierney and credit is due for that good piece of defending. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. De Bruyne. Now he must favour the cross. The referee is given a corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? And he takes it on. Able to get a body in the way. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in the... Into the second half then, and Arsenal with a real mountain to climb.
Good tackle. Grealish. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Hard to put your finger on exactly why, but Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang not all that effective in this game, Stuart. Well, Derek, he's usually so clever around the edge of the box, but today he just hasn't shown that. As the touch map shows us, he hasn't had enough touches in those key areas. Partey. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Well, it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper. Arsenal will have to throw it back in play. Thomas Partey. Oh, big chance! Well, that's a moment he'd like to airbrush from history. Not a good attempt. Well, lots of power, but no control whatsoever. That's a real waste. Well, big news concerning Chelsea on the transfer front. Their fans delighted that they've got their man, Stuart. Well, I think it's a good move for him. He has great ability, but needs to be that little bit more consistent. I'd say it's a fair price as well. Won it back. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Well, there you can see City haven't been able to control possession, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. And a good-looking ball. Oh, but claimed by the goalkeeper. Well, they get the ball once more. The Bruyne. And teammates to play it to. Clears it away. Bernardo Silva. Still could be dangerous. Well, they can bring it out now. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Manchester City facing Arsenal. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. Bodies forward and the break looks on. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Kieran Tierney. Can they take advantage? Obama Young. Oh, he's gone for goal. Corner kick given to Arsenal. Substitution for Manchester City. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Number five, John Stones. Substitution for Arsenal. Coming off the pitch, number 34, Ramit Shaka. Let's see about the delivery on the corner. Too close to the goalkeeper that time. Don't forget, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Arsenal facing Norwich City. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to enjoy. Well, keeping it on the ground. Slightly off target, however. So, making the substitution now. De Bruyne. Can he put it away? Well, he gave it real leather, but miles off target. Manchester City, off the pitch. Number nine, Gabriel Jesus. Well, as we get close to hearing the final whistle, Manchester City dominant, Manchester City excellent. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. Terrific save!
They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Who can they pick out? Well, really stout defending there, off the line. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Manchester City have lost the ball. Gabriel. Pepe. Now Aubameyang. Cross fired over. And in it goes. They're getting closer. They're not finished yet. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area. But should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Substitute shot for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch, number 16, Rodri, to be replaced by... We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to... My goodness, it looked as though he was clean through. And the referee, what will he do here? And I think that's one we could have called from five miles away, Stuart. Clear red card offence. Well, you've obviously got very good eyesight, but no doubt about that. He stopped the goal-scoring opportunity there. He had to go. I had my eyes tested last week, I'll have you know. Has eyes for goal! Well, he's going to be cross with himself. Straight, but into the keeper's gloves. Arsenal have possession again. Well, still pressing for a goal here. Arsenal get the... This could level it! But denied by the keeper. And at this late stage in the proceedings, it could be highly significant. Well, it could be a huge moment, Derek. So little time left now. De Bruyne. No nonsense clearance. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. Stoppage in play and a chance for the referee to go back and retrospectively hand out a yellow card. And perhaps a bit fortunate not to be shown the yellow card. A different story next time, no doubt. to do well they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner delivering it it didn't happen for them well that's how to put in a clean tackle and breaking at pace with menace and in with a real chance. Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, and there's the final whistle. It goes into the books as a City victory. Defenders need to cover, 